In this Zool's how-to video, we'll explain how to use policies to configure Zool's backups or control user permissions. To start, log in to your Zool's account at www.zools.com and click on the Policies tab. Then click Create Policy. Begin by setting your policy's name at the top, then proceed with the options below. Both the Instant and Cold Storage tabs allow using smart selections and manual selections for you to select what data to back up. In the Manual Add section, you can specify variables from the predefined list, which Zools will translate to the correct path on the machine with the policy assigned. For example, you can insert the desktop variable to back up the desktop folder on the machine without entering a specific path for it. You can also set up filters to include or exclude certain file types or folders, either by extension name or a regular expression. The Extensions tab allows you to set VSS extensions for open file backup, block level extensions, and edit or add to the extensions that Zool scans with smart selections. At the bottom, you can specify extensions or folders to be globally excluded from the backup. Moving on to the Hybrid Plus tab, you can specify whether to enable creating a local copy of the backup or not when using this policy. Please make sure that the location specified here is accessible to the users you are assigning the policy to. The Settings tab allows you to set general settings, such as enabling battery mode or setting what connection type to use while backing up. Under Security Settings, you can enable SSL connection and allow the user to set their own encryption password for the backup. You can also set up your backup schedule and bandwidth throttling here. Under the Privileges tab, you have web privileges with options like restricting the ability to delete backed up files or prevent users from changing their credentials. Client Privileges allows you to set a passcode for the Zools client or allow restricted access to it, such as restricting sharing or the ability to uninstall Zools. After setting up the policy to your liking, click Save for your changes to apply. You can now assign this policy to a user or a server machine from under the Users slash Servers tab. The policy will be reflected on the users within 15 minutes. This completes the Zools Policies tutorial. Thank you for watching.